Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. I left alone My mind was blank I needed time to think To get the memories from my mind What did I see? Can I believe That what I saw that night Was real and not just fantasy Just what I saw My first memory was making art, uh, and from there it just was always something very constant in my life. When I was a kid, my imagination was very rampant, and I couldn't seem to satisfy it in any way. No video game or movie or even action figures could satisfy it, so the only relief I found was drawing with crayons and markers, and stuff like that. And the stuff that I made was always a little bit darker. Adventure wasn't in that sunny path where everything is neat and clean and safe. Adventure was in that dark cave. Adventure was in that mysterious forest. And a life filled with adventure just seemed the most attractive to me. Now in terms of the actual painting, it's showing this figure freaking the fuck out. Um, it's because they've reached inside them and pulled out what's inside them and looked at it and it scares them. Because fear does not exist outside of you. It's inside of us. It's how we decide to react to the things that we see and experience, just as I mentioned the spider uh, analogy. Art education for me wasn't something that really sat well. It was a really uncomfortable experience for me. I was either kicked out of classes, stopped going to them, or in a couple cases literally walked out. Um, most of my experience learning how to make art was done by myself, whether it was in the middle of math class or after school instead of doing my homework. And most of it really was in the state of away from everyone else, exploring on my own. I always felt really uncomfortable being taught by someone else, especially in a classroom setting. It seemed like everyone was being taught to do the same thing. And what that resulted in was everyone kind of like building the same house. So the neighborhood was nothing but the same house after the same house after the same house. And it was claustrophobic to me. Um, I found that just with enough discipline and an eagerness to learn on my own terms, everything came into place on its own. In this piece, the painting on the right, the blue figure, that's us. But we're, in this one, they're not afraid, they're, they're fearsome. And they are facing this yellow creature, which head on looks almost like this bird monster with teeth and a skull and all that stuff. But if you look at it a different way, it's a harmless fish. You know, it's just all in how you decide to face the things that may frighten you. But in the end, don't be afraid of what's in the dark. Make what's in the dark more afraid of you. I met up with someone that had uh, little by little become a friend and they urged me to sell art on Newberry Street on the sidewalks. So after some convincing and whatnot, I figured out uh, how I wanted to do that and I showed a couple of framed prints and a couple of drawings I did on Newberry Street. And I was terrified. I was sweating, I was shaking. I um, couldn't hold myself together, whether I was talking or just sitting there. But I felt like I couldn't just leave my art behind. And with the type of art that I made, it was very personal, very vulnerable. And I felt like I had nothing I could hide. There was nothing to hide from. And uh, my first day, I was there for eight hours and I didn't sell anything. And it was a devastating blow. So the next day I went out there and it was the same thing. Eight hours, nothing sold. And it was just as crushing as it was the day before. And throughout the whole day, I was just as nervous. But as I was packing up, I heard behind me this excited voice saying, oh my God, I love that. I have to have it. And I turned around and it was someone I didn't know. And it was the first time I had sold my art to someone I didn't know. And that was it. 
that's all it took. I create these atmospheres where I'm stomping on people's feet, where I'm giving myself anxiety attacks because I'm throwing myself there to have that wisdom, to experience it. And what I'm showing is what I've learned through this whole experience. I mean, and through that, yeah, I emerged from the series different, for better or worse. When I reached the gallery, I had this overwhelming sense of confusion because suddenly, you know, I've reached this goal that I've been aiming for for so long. What now? And really, it's just to make this gallery this amazing, exciting place. You know, we ask people, how are you doing? And it's like we're prescribed only a couple answers. Good, okay, or at worst, hanging in there. You know, and no one listens to the answer. It's, if anything, a greeting. But I want it to be the kind of place where people ask you how you are, you can actually say so without judgment. You guys, I got so much wine, and I got so many hot dogs, and we still got soda and water, and we still Whoa. got music and conversations to have. Let's get crazy. Thank you for coming.